Is the Halo franchise actually safe? Late last night, to my surprise at the Halo Championship, we got a bomb drop of news from 343 Studios that they are rebranding the entire company into Halo Studios. This wasn't the only huge announcement. It was followed up by the fact that we are going to be getting all future projects in the Halo franchise in Unreal Engine they are swapping over from their in-house slipspace engine into Unreal Engine 5. And they also teased that they are working on multiple projects in the Halo franchise currently. My first initial reaction to all of this is, wow, this wasn't something I was expecting to wake up to at 1am, check my phone and see this absolute bombshell of all this news. And there are so many questions and thoughts that come to mind. So let's just discuss and jump into them. The first huge step for me is that they are moving to Unreal Engine 5. That's the most glaring one. I've documented this a couple of times in videos in the past, but the biggest failing of Halo Infinite was its engine and how much content they could get into the game. They had the gameplay right. You can debate the campaign all you want, but they just weren't putting content into the game and capitalizing on people wanting to see more of Halo. It took a large amount of 343 Studio to run the engine, but the problem wasn't the amount of people that were actually working on it. It was due to the nature of contract work that was going on with the engine that new people would have to come in, spend time learning the in-house engine rather than an industry standard one, which is unreal. By the time they got a grasp on fixing bugs and getting content into the game, the game was pretty much dead in the water for the wider population, apart from a lot of the fans. And then they've had some spurs here and there. A lot of this comes down to Pierre Hintz, who is now the studio VP slash head, who took over the Master Chief collection and fixed that, and then also uh, helped with improving Halo Infinite. And a lot of this is definitely a shakeup from the old leadership. All of that was gutted, and now it's a focused attempt to make better Halo games. And hopefully shed the reputation and the shackles that being attached to 343 has. Not only did we get a look at the video, but we got a really good article from Xbox Wire where they interviewed many people from the studio. Hints directly said, we believe that the consumption habits of gamers have changed. The expectations of how fast their content is available. You went on to also say on Halo Infinite, we were developing a tech stack that was supposed to set us up for the future and the games at the same time. That just failed. It wasn't working and the switch to Unreal not only offers a new engine with sparkly new toys because the video looks pretty damn incredible when you watch it in 4K as well. The switch is just great because it means that they can remove the training aspect of taking someone that doesn't know this new engine and just plopping it into Unreal. They already know it from probably learning it because it's a widely available engine and it means that they can get to work on content for the game straight away. What you are seeing on screen right now is a direct result of their work in the Unreal Engine. They started a, a project called Project Foundry, which isn't a new game or a common like tech demo. It was more of a research project to transfer assets and see if they could create halo in the unreal engine and it's a showcase of what the possibilities are in unreal we get to see three different planets or biomes one is very traditional to halo and there's also a cold biome and like a flood biome as well and it all looks super crisp and awesome but it does pose the question why go through all this effort to create this big tech demo essentially the article does dive into this a little bit further when they spoke to Elizabeth Van Wick and they said, when we decided to do Foundry, it wasn't at the point or in our plan, but we needed to pause and validate is not the right word, but educate and understand what our capability is and assess it so we could actually know if we're on the right path. So they decided to jump into this as a tester to see whether or not making the switch was worth it. And man, it definitely was. It seems like they used Project Foundry as a way to transfer a lot of the assets to kind of see if they could potentially improve the workflow and then transition the entire studio into that in future and it definitely could reduce the amount of time it takes to develop uh, each piece of the game whether that's uh, an art piece or like a weapon different things that you can expect to see in game development 
it's easy to get wrapped up in all of this, but my God, does it look beautiful in this engine. We got to see Chief in the Mark V armor, which was really nice. We got to see some Halo Elites, a plasma sword, which is like an actual like humming sword, not like a solid object that we usually get to see. The three different biomes and a detailed look at all of them. They look fantastic with the different lighting systems and setup. All of the screenshots that you've seen throughout the video as well are taken from the engine themselves, and they just look pretty wild. All of this just screams to me that they are working on a Halo Combat Evolved remake from the ground up, which could be the perfect thing to relaunch the franchise. And to be honest, could be a glimpse of the real potential that the engine has for future games in the franchise. It's a bit weird that they've decided to do the Pacific Northwest showcase with a Forerunner. And they've also shown off the Mark V armor with the traditional Magnum. And it just kind of hints towards a combat evolved remake and it doesn't look like they're doing more new stuff in this showcase now they could just be showing us as a way to kind of tease the fans but it definitely just lines up to me that we'll be getting a combat evolved remake the reason i say that is because hints alluded to in the video that they are working on multiple halo projects not just one in a direct quote from the article it says it's fair to say that our intent is that majority of what we've showcased in Foundry is expected to be in the projects which we are building or future projects. They are currently building projects. They stress that they want to have the highest quality possible but get things out a little bit quicker and maybe Unreal Engine would allow them to do that. Read into all of this however you want. I am incredibly hopeful from everything that I've seen and like I've said multiple times that the Halo franchise still has amazing potential and it didn't just peak at Halo 3 and Halo Reach and the last 10 years or so it's been a very very rough ride at least for 343 they've kind of been in the shadow of Bungie and they've never really gotten out of it and they've had failings after failings and we need to just focus on the thing that the studio is designed to do make Halo games do I think these changes and the rebrand and this core check showcase is going to change anything? No, but it certainly looks like they're trying to be more defined and more focused in their approach going forward with Halo. We, of course, haven't got any gameplay yet. So that's another thing that you need to get right. You need to make sure that this is a good feeling game, that it feels like Halo. You're going to get the physics right. You're going to get that gunplay right. You're going to get the casual competitive feel. You're going to get that trifecta of guns melee and grenades they've got to get that right which they know how to do it's just applying that to the unreal engine whilst i am hopeful we have been sold false promises before and to many a jaded halo fan this looks like more of the same i get it i am definitely going to be coming at this with a healthy bit of skepticism but if it takes like two to three years to make a smaller uh, halo experience while having like a mainline game coming out every so often then i think that'll be the perfect recipe i talked about this in my halo odst video a couple of days ago but the experience that odst offers is such a smaller more intimate story that they could tell and it's a different approach to gameplay they could have one of those sprinkled in between the mainline offering so if it takes a couple of years to make that and they can keep that constantly updated and then work on these smaller things, just experiments within the Halo universe, then I am all in. Obviously, all talk for now. So obviously, come at this with a healthy dose for skepticism. But man, with Halo being one of my favorite franchises and the game I've covered quite a lot on the channel, I am very excited for the future of Halo and hopeful is a broad term to put it. So let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you are excited, jaded, unsure, let me know. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. Subscribe for more content like this. And as always, this is Jimbo. And I'll see you guys next time.